we good? Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Nothing's off limits, right? We're good? All right. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, that host that you posted. Hey, my spidey sensors are tingling. <laughs> hey, but if you're listening to this, this is a special edition, Atos Alive podcast. Most authentic, most organic. Baby, let's give it up real quick. Let's go. No one's going to clap. Damn, where is everybody today? Hey, honestly, our audience is a little tough today. But we're going to start off from the person to my left, to the right. They're going to introduce themselves. We made it out here to LA. So for the people that don't know your name. My name is Vanessa. You got a microphone. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> um, my name is Vanessa. We have Vanessa. Bella, hi. Bella, microphone, Bella. Bella. <laughs> hi, I'm Michelle. If you've been on the Tulsa Live podcast and been following us, the person all the way far left, this is the second time. Yes, sir. Running it back, but we're here in spooky season. How's everybody doing? Good. How are you? Ah, man, hot. Sweating under this <laughs> shit. But let's start off right away, because right now I think it's an important red flags. Do you guys have any red flags that you can actually admit I'm petty. That's a red flag. <laughs> For sure. Like, no. Petty already. Red flag. But I would never kind of admit it if someone's telling me mm-hmm. I'm petty. I can't think of one, to be honest. No? I can't no, think I'd of one I'd probably have to say that I'm petty, too. Like, like beyond, like, petty. Oh, huh? yeah. <laughs> what? Beyond like petty. Really <laughs> Wait, what? And I'll make it be wow. known that I'm petty. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the way I yell. So right now that we are in, in a holiday season, right, we're about to get into Halloween coming up. So when this is out, Halloween is already there, so make sure you subscribe. Um, it's a trend. When it gets colder, people get cuffed. Scary is that times. true or not true? Yeah, because they get lonely. Speaking for the people, I know. I know. And you they need get somebody, lonely. you know, for cuddle weather. Yeah. Cuddle That's weather. Why. But is it cuddle weather? It's just watch the movie, right? Netflix, are you going to hit up? The pumpkin are you patch still watching? Yeah. The, the tree, Christmas yeah. tree shopping. And then you just, the trial's done. By the it, pumpkin like, crow- carving. Yeah, the pumpkin. Hot Girl yeah. Summer just ends there? Yeah, it yeah. just ends. Oh, after, after Halloween. <laughs> after <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> All right, so longer. right now we are in a season of obviously Halloween. Um, but there's a lot of shit going on, right? There's... Something new going on with you, Michelle? You finally left one out of I the 10 jobs one that you out have? Of the 10 jobs I have, yeah, I did. I she used to go to work, get off, go to overtime, get off, and go to triple overtime. I know. How, so, how does that feel, the transition? Um, I miss it, but at the same time, I don't. I just feel like I was over it. So, I think quitting was the best decision for me and my mental health, especially. Mm. But it's been. Eh, I'm still working probably the same amount because I'm full time on my other job. <laughs> so, <laughs> how many hours did you sleep? I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> for Bea, first time on here. Thank you for coming out all this way. Um, your transition in life, like for work and everything you're going on, how do you balance work, gym, yourself? It's hard. It's hard. Oh my God. Sometimes I don't want to go to the gym. And then I'm like, no, because if you don't go right now, and they're going to say you're going to go in the morning, and it just never happens, you know? Yeah. And then, but no, it's transitioning. Actually, I was like her. I was working three jobs. Yeah. I would sleep like four hours a day, like four hours. And then go back to work every day, Monday through Friday. It was hard. So what, what's like your, when you wake up, like when you're tired, like what do you tell yourself? I'm just a bad bitch. Day. I got to get up. Yeah, like just another day, get up. <laughs> just kind of push yourself through it just because if you don't, I mean, if you don't do the work, it's just not going to get done. Yeah. So might as well get up and do it. So for the people that don't know you, right, you, you were like, oh, I, didn't, I wasn't ready, but you have a whole outfit, a whole costume I ready. I came to go. because I'm more supportive. I came with my cousin. Cause she but was she like, was dressed. You know? <laughs> she took off the jacket. She was like, I'm ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready, but I'm ready. Um, do you mind saying what do you do for work and everything? Um, I'm a CSR for work, and uh, I 
Well, like, if we were going off the same question? Or yeah, yeah, same yeah. question. So how do you balance your personal life, work, and then, like, your mental health? I, I have a daughter, so, like, um, it's really, like, hard to balance that. So, like, I have to go to work. I work 9 to 5. And after my 9 to 5, I also have to make time for the gym to make time for myself to, you know, have my own time. Because as a mother, you know, um, you do put in time, like, for your kids, but you also have to, like, not forget that you have to make time for yourself and not let yourself, like, go mentally. Facts. And, like, even physically, because a lot of people get, like, um, not, um, like, a lot of people do let them go, like, physically, and it, like, it puts a mental toll on you, you know? Yeah. And I try to, like, keep that, like, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, no, for, for sure. It, it's, a, it's a struggle, so yeah. it brings us to the next question. Mm -hmm. You guys all work like 20 jobs, right? <laughs> work hours a week, 100 hours. Seven. Minimum, minimum. I like the money. I like that's, money. So that's the question. The does money buy the happiness? It does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> for me. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. All right, so we got to explain. Yeah, you yeah, said money. You said money does. You said money does. She said no. Well, I mean, if I'm not working or like doing something that I like, that I'm gonna end up spending my money with, like, for me, it's just like, what am I gonna be doing? There's nothing else that I'll be doing. I mean, spending time with family, but um, which is they do, but they're working too. <laughs> they're working too, and they're busy and they're doing their own thing. So it's not like. I, like, I'm going to be with them the whole time, but, um, no, I do. I really do like working for the money. She Just loves saving. the money. I love saving. Money and over love, money. then? Huh? Money over love? No. No, absolutely not. But I haven't found love, so. <gasps> Play the violin. Play the violin. <laughs> Wait, you said no. Hmm? You said money doesn't buy happiness. Money doesn't? Is that what you said, right? No. Are you switching it? Money? Money. Uh, does it buy happiness? Does money buy happiness? No, no, it doesn't. I think money comes and goes. <laughs> Sounds so shitty. But honestly, no, like, so. money and, like, things are materialistic things. Yeah. You know, they come and go. It's all about, like, your mental health and taking care of yourself. Facts. Looking out for yourself. Money comes and goes. Yeah. Whatever. Do you think money buys happiness? I feel like to a certain extent, yeah. Because... I mean, without money, you can't go and do stuff that you like to go do. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Money buys the comfort. Yeah. I yeah. do. The right? Lady. Because without the money, you won't be able to go have fun, take care of the, the people you love, and, and go out. Go out and try to find love, right? <laughs> <laughs> we don't try to find love. Okay, they come to us. It's supposed okay. to come. To, it's supposed it's to come, right? To it's supposed to come. Yeah, naturally. Outside, so we're all wearing costumes, right? I thought that's how you look every day. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm having a really hard time, like, really seeing your eyes. Dude, I can barely see. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can barely even see right now. Like, it it's like kind of blurry, but thanks for, for the lights, I can kind of see yeah, my peripheral yeah, yeah, visions. Yeah, yeah. But that's, that's the way I go about life. I can't really see a lot of shit. I tend to not try to see the bad stuff, right? Yeah. Red flags, I ignore them. I ignore red flags. It is what it is. Mario Verga. Really? You don't have any red flags. Do I have? Yeah, yeah, I'm, They say I'm toxic because I'm a Scorpio. Uh, yeah, we had this conversation the first time. Yeah. No. You guys can walk out. No. <laughs> I like Scorpios. Okay. The Scorpios are fun. Yeah. No. We're fun. We're, yes. Wait, when's your birthday again? Literally, what's today? November? The 15th? October 25th. October 25th. Oh, it's oh, coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What so, are you going to do? Damn, we're not doing nothing that weekend, but I think we're going to San Diego. We're going to run it back. <laughs> we're going to run that shit back. Because last time we were in San Diego, it didn't work out. No, it did. It did work out. But. Uh, what, ha what happened last time? Damn, what did happen in San Diego? We bought an unnecessary bottle for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Like so that. that. It'd be like that. <laughs> but <laughs> with... The cuddle season, right? Spooky season, dating. Dating in general is just fucking hard. It's hard. <laughs> look at her, look at her, look at her. She's just like, uh. 
Yeah, that shit was ass. Well, let, let me, me tell, tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> So the one what, time he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so in that topic is, does your partner have to match what you do? The, the, not the work, just the grind. Like, they got to be motivated, they got to be inspired, and they got to want to go get their own stuff. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Instead of them just staying home or being taken care of or having access to you 24-7, in a sense. Is that, like, is there a difference between dating before and now? Do we think? There's a huge difference. But I feel like it just depends on the person that you're with, you know? Because they could be like, oh, keep working, or oh, you know what? I want to take care of you. And I'd be like, oh, okay, period. <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't be working no more. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's my take on it. I don't know. It just depends. Because I, I, I feel like a lot of people are trying to get out of, like, the machista and, like, the old Facts. times. If that makes any sense. And a lot of people are being, like, resilient. I don't know. It's just everybody's different, to be honest. Everybody thinks different. Bea, what do you got to say to this? What was the question? I'm sorry. <laughs> do they got to do, is the partner that you look for, do they got to match your work ethic? I th or they gotta, they, do, they have, do they have to have more than you, or can they be the same, or you have more? We could be the same, but I, with somebody that I'm looking for, or what I look for in a person is to, Definitely have that work ethic that I have and have goals, have goals to want better for themselves. Yeah. It doesn't matter the pace. I think for me, it's more of a, like, you are striving for something and you're showing that you actually are. Not just saying, because, like, one thing is saying, that, oh, yeah, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want in the future. But are you really doing anything to get yourself there? So yeah. there's a lot, of, a lot of people are all talk and they show no action. Yeah, I think they, everybody, like, sweeps talk to you from the beginning, and then once you guys start becoming, in a sense, official, right? Because dating and being boyfriend and girlfriend are two different things, yeah. I believe, right? Someone, you're just talking to them, and they want to, like, I don't know, call you, like, yours or theirs, right? So there has been a question that's been, like, they've been asking us, and are you taken right now? So there has been a question that, it's been around, they've been asking us, like, the toughest thing about being a single mother and, finding, and dating somebody. Speak your I truth. I don't like to date. <laughs> I don't like to date as a single mother. And if I, like I do, I have a really busy schedule because I'm busy. Like, my days off are what, like, Tuesdays and Sundays, no, Saturdays? Tuesdays and Saturdays. So, like, there's really no time to put it like to place that like today yeah. you can't. So, and then honestly like I wouldn't I, I have dated in the past like I dated someone and it didn't turn out and I wouldn't want for something to happen and me introduce somebody to my daughter and it wouldn't work out you know for like I wouldn't want that attachment it would be like something that I want for it, sure it's harder for your kid to get attached and you to get unattached, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the toughest shit. Mm -hmm. So now getting to everything right there, we are, there's actually some questions that came out for, for Michelle. They said you, oh were, you were the best barista everybody has had. <laughs> well, we're retired. <laughs> but yeah. then they asked like worst dating stories, right? But let me, let, let, let's ask a, it's going to be a question that you guys are going to have to really think about. Is there an event in your childhood that has affected you till this day that you haven't been able to let go and it affects you now? No comment. <laughs> I got trauma, babes. I got trauma. I got but trauma. The, <laughs> but when do you start letting go of that trauma then? I don't know, I just feel like trauma, I don't know, I've just been really like on a psychological like, what is it called, like loophole, where I think a lot about like past trauma that I went through in my childhood that affects me as an adult, and I feel like when I'm not like acknowledged, or um, if I'm not talked to a certain type of way, I get like scared, or I get really anxious, and yeah. it just has carried on through like my adulthood, and I'm trying to like deal with it, but it's hard, if that right. makes any sense. 
Makes sense. The trauma, the flavor. <laughs> the flavor. <laughs> the flavor of it all. We love toxicity. I don't yeah. want I don't want peace. I want toxicity. <laughs> Bea? Mm. Any like big the trauma, mic? Like, come, sorry. Come on. <laughs> Ay, se me olvida. Rookie. Rookie. It's my primera vez. Um don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. Don't be shy. I'm trying. Um, like a traumatic event that's happened. In my life. It's just childhood trauma. Letting that's like something that has happened then that you know affects you till now, but you don't know how to let it go. Mm, I want to say just growing up, seeing things that I really didn't want to see between my parents growing up, and um, just like you know when. Like, back to toxic masculinity. Like, a lot of older Mexican dads, they don't really see the damage that they do to their kids. Just all the, um, just like the violence, just the, even just how they speak to your mother. Like, it's so crazy. Like, I think back at it and I, like, I, I just can't believe that it happened in front of me or like my mother or family let it happen. But it's like if you're not in that position, so yeah. you don't you don't know what you would do. So going back, no, going forward, I've always thought like, okay, well, like I'm never gonna let someone speak to me like that. And I did actually, I did for a really long time, and it sucked like about eight years actually. So and now I'm like going forward with relationships now, I'm like, oh no, like I cut it like cut it right out. I'm like, oh, do not ever speak to me like that. Yeah. Like, it's not acceptable. And it's hard going through those traumas, you know? Like accepting it. Trying to get over it, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. For yourself? What was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> she took forever to talk about this, awesome. huh? Uh, uh, going through how child, childhood trauma, right? If you have it, do you think that affects you, who you are today? I feel like, yeah, definitely. But um, no matter what your past childhood trauma is, like, she was saying, um, there's a lot of um, Mexican machista, like my dad was machista, so that you have to try to break the cycle Yeah. Um, with your kids. So it's just, you know, you see, you see what happened what, to you growing up where you have to break the cycle. Facts, not nah, hell yeah. So with now going into just your being yourselves, I think you guys here, don't really know you, I apologize. But knowing these two crazy people. <gasps> ah. Confidence. Coming from a Spider-Man happy dad. No, literally. Speak for yourself. <laughs> hey, that's why I have the mask, because I'm not confident. I get shy. I get shy. I'm shy. Okay. I'm shy. Uh, I swear. Cap. Um, cap. I'm really shy. Cap. I'm shy. <laughs> Where does the confidence come from? I have no clue. Just acting like you're somebody else. I don't yeah. know. Just like putting a mask on, I guess. Just putting a mask the on. The T, look, the best friends. Not you, thinking about it. Too you know much. your best friends once one says something, and the other one's like, cap. Yeah. She's like, no, no. You know, you know your best friends when someone's saying something, and the other one's like, Pfft. yeah, right. <laughs> no, I'm, I am shy, though. <laughs> really, I feel like <laughs> She's I am. Like, yes. like, Damn. What about you? Am I shy? Oh. Yes. I think I'm, I'm, an in, I'm an introvert and an extrovert. Mm -hmm. Like, when I need to be extroverted, I'll do it. But if I'm not, like, I'd rather be the quietest one in the room. Okay. Yeah, like, that's why I drink at 8 in the morning. <laughs> hey, we didn't pre, even get a drink. Pre-pot, pre you guys left for I don't know where. You guys went around the block, came back. I don't know what they did. Dylan but, promised me a happy dad, like, at 8 in the morning. If she was on, one. was she on time? I wasn't. No. No. Cat. I was she was super 8, late. 35. Super late. Stop. <laughs> no, it's, it's just a confidence. I think a lot of us lack the confidence, but when you get in your zone, when you're in your moment and you're comfortable in the scenario, mm -hmm. like you shine, right? Like that's yeah. the whole point, being comfortable in whatever scenario you're in. But I'm one of those, like when you walk into a room, I, I'd rather be the quietest. Like, yeah, I'd rather be the quietest one in the room until I'm talked to, then yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you. But if not, yeah. Ah, uh, typical Scorpio. <laughs> I can what? See your face. What I'm does that mean? Underneath your mask, your face dropped. <laughs> this dropped. <laughs> Do we really believe in signs? Like, 
It's very had this conversation. You you know, we no. literally went down like a deep rabbit if, hole. If I didn't tell you I was Scorpio, then you wouldn't even know. I would. Eventually. <laughs> I would eventually. If I didn't tell you I was Scorpio, what do you think I would be? Spider-Man. <laughs> Is there, to kind of like switch gears real quick, mm-hmm. is there a funny Halloween that you guys have had? Oh, my God. Let's talk about this. Like last we're year, switching last gears. Year. Last it was, year? It was last year. Yeah. Talk about it. Last year. We were talking about like, God. last year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so my first promo I ever had was with Calaveras. Shout out, Calaveras. Shout out to Calaveras. <laughs> and I remember it was during Halloween, oh. right? And they're like, hey, come, blah, blah, blah. I remember blah, 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 blah. And then let's Wherever you go, she goes. Yeah, we just go together. And we got so fucking shit-faced. Like, it was bad. It was, I don't even know how we walked I don't, out. I don't even know how we got home. I don't know. They got us yeah. fucked up for free. <laughs> huh? I know. The first time <laughs> we met, you promised. You're like, yeah, we're going to all Calaveras together. I know. We'll hang out. <laughs> we'll go soon. We'll go soon. Did. She did. If we go back, if we pop up the clip, it's going to show it. It's going to show pop it. Pop up the clip right here. Pop up the clip. <laughs> it's going to pop up. I remember I did say that. Wait, but so yeah. why was, was that like the worst experience or what? No. That wasn't. That no, wasn't that was part. one of the many. <laughs> that was one part of, the, of our night. <laughs> it was what, like nine? It was like nine or eight p.m. when we were already fucked up. I blacked like, out. She blacked out, I blacked out in my car. <laughs> we got I home. This one picked her up. Me and Leslie were cleaning the throat. I threw up. <laughs> in, my, in my brand new jeans. But I didn't eat, so give me the benefit of the doubt. I hadn't eaten all day, and I was just taking shots. No, that sounds like an excuse to someone that can't handle drinks. Because I can handle. I can handle. Because my my yeah. my rental cop out there with the shortest shorts. Whatever. Shortest shorts in the world. He said I didn't eat either, and I ended up dropping them off in my truck while I still went back to the bar. Oh, wow. Yeah, he got shit faced. He blacked out. <laughs> you did? Yeah, he really did. That's, you did. He doesn't remember it. And then we went to Picolandia and he doesn't remember it. <laughs> he says he got roofied. Oh, you did? He says. No, wait, yeah, I can't believe that you blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so picked her up, cleaned up the throw up, and, and then what happened though? So then we left Michelle on the bed to sleep. Yeah. I died. She weekend. died. So I passed out. Michelle was gone for the rest of the night. And we were like, well, we're still going to go to the club. You know, it's Halloween weekend. It was Michelle was alive. Don't worry. She had weekend. water. She had her phone. She I could like, not find my phone when I woke up, <laughs> bitch. Stop fucking lying. But oh, well, she, like, was, she was alive. Fuck? It's okay. No, I was and still then, fucking drunk. And I was, was like looking around the bed. Like, but, uh, we left her at her house. And we left to the club, right? And then her, her mom was there, her grandma, her... We didn't dad. drive to the club, by the way. And <laughs> she was just yeah. knocked out there by herself. We don't yeah, promote drinking yeah. and driving. Tell you that right now. Yeah. So make sure you Uber. But that's kind of sweet, right? They left you. You were taken care of. Gave her water, you know. No, but then we got a ride and we got left at the club. We got left at the <laughs> All right, why'd you guys get left? Okay, no, we didn't get left because of that, but we got to the club, and we were all already drunk, so then we were just partying in the club for a while. This one was a little too drunk. She, um, she gets kicked out of the club, and, you know, I'm over here following her. By the way, this is not our first time getting kicked out of the club. <laughs> no. You're, are you a fighter? Hour, are you a fighter in the club? We're fighting. Never been. No, by hour, I mean her, and I got to go get her, you know? Wait, are you a fighter in the club? No. I'm not a fighter. <laughs> She's not a fighter at, at the club. A I'm a lover, yeah. She's a at lover. the club. No, no, no. There's people that can party and they don't get kicked out. But then the people that get kicked out is because they act funny. <laughs> Why did you get kicked out that day? I was hella drunk. Like, like yeah. Hella. <laughs> she said, I was like, yeah. like knocking shit out. So we went outside and I was chasing her outside. We were yeah. Moment. <laughs> Finally call her. We call her cousin Leslie because she's inside. And I'm like, hey, come out. Um, we're like, we got to go already. Fact. But your sister was there. Yeah, my her sister, sister was, there. was there too. So we're outside. We're just waiting for her sister to come out. And then what did you do? Oh, my sister was trying to like, you know when you're drunk and you're no, no, that No, no, Leslie. That was before. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Wait, what happened? I was drunk. <laughs> she, my cousin Leslie, um, she was just standing there, you know, like goofy herself, you know, little Scorpio right there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Scorpio things. This yeah. one comes out of nowhere and tackles her down to the floor, literally full on tackle to the floor. Like, I, and she was just like, eh, eh, what happened? She was <laughs> like, laughing about it. <laughs> she doesn't remember. 
the older we get, the more it takes longer to recover, right? No, I don't get it. I've never, like, been hungover. So, like, I'll literally go to the club and get home at 3 and go to work at 5 in the morning, and I'm good, like... She built different. She built different. She built she different. Miss on one hour of sleep. She doesn't even know what the hell's going on right yeah. now. She built different. But it, we party because I think we deserve it. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. You work all that. You work fucking 100 hours. You, got, no, you deserve literally. to have some fun. I'm going to turn up. Yeah. You got to turn up. <laughs> I really did. I pulled up and I was like, yeah. She, like, it's the same she said, who the fuck works ghetto. hours, bro? Working is so ghetto. Working is ghetto. No, I, I have work later. You have work later too? Yeah. Cap. I close again. No, I'm not capping. I so wish we're I not going to Calaveras for like. Nah, babes, no. I'm sorry. We're responsible maybe today. Maybe like, maybe like <laughs> later. Not right now. I, I close like the whole weekend. All right. So to ghetto. Dylan, when, what, what were we at? All right. So to close this one out here, what is something you wish you knew? When you were younger, that you know now. Don't fuck up your credit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if that saying? man's toxic, leave him like that instant. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch, that part. <laughs> <laughs> that part, that part right there. All right, what's something you, you wish you knew when you were younger that you know now? Damn, put all your effort into school, I swear. That man is not worth it. <laughs> like, no dates, no guy is worth it. Yeah. Hey, Dylan, what? <laughs> Why is Bella looking at Dylan? What'd you do? <laughs> no, what the hell? She's I was it, looking, I was she, looking she, that way. You she's looking into the camera. There. She's looking into the camera. Yeah, I was looking into the camera. I was making right. sure everybody knew. So don't no, give. Seriously, no, no, nobody's worth it. Just put your all into school. Um, all your effort pay attention go to your class like don't be ditching class right. so, no seriously i, I would have graduated a lot sooner if i did that <laughs> <laughs> all right michelle close us out bro what's something you wish you knew when you were younger that you know now fuck it take risks i help back a lot but now i don't give a fuck no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> no but that was hey, he's not looking at you. <laughs> he's, he's not like, over my <laughs> take risks and don't hold back. I feel like I always held back from a lot growing up, but now I'm just like, fuck it, we ball. Remember? Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. That. Fuck it, we ball. That is, is there something that you want to leave us with? A quote? A word, word of the day? What's the word of the day? I'll leave it to him. <laughs> Pick a word, babes. Last time I said, fuck it, we ball. Remember? I was just going to say Chambe, you know, from Bad Bunny. Cause it's Holla. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bad Bunny stands over here, okay? Bad I Bunny do want Bunny. to appreciate you guys for coming from, like, Buffalo, Egypt. That all part. The way, all the way this way. <laughs> but, shit, we're going to switch off right now. The, the characters on the scene, we're going to keep partying. So stay tuned really quick. We'll be right back. Bye-bye. the air, though? All right. We're good? We're good? Please. Can you tell me we can hear the air from can the... Can you hear me? Yeah. From the I really can't because I don't have my. Oh, you don't have the headphones? You're good though. <laughs> I can't even see real quick, but we out here. So we did the switch up, right? We have under the mask on this side. We got Jose No Way <laughs> with, with the three quarter shorts out here. We got Mr. <laughs> Dylan in the house. Stand up. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, double cheeked up. Double cheeked up on a Saturday morning. <laughs> then we have Cindy back with the what's the character, Cindy? Chen Li. Jeez, she's ready to fight. Get down. You're never Dave's gonna guess chicken. who's under the chicken. Yeah, Dave's hot chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ashley, Ashley, aka Becca, under there, but sh <laughs> Dave's hot chicken. Promo, call us real quick. We got you. <laughs> I'm going to have call you a side chick? Damn. All right. So. Hold on. Let me down. All right. So we're going to gonna get right into this. Right. So we are finally doing the Halloween special. We just did one part with the girls that 
For some reason, they all showed up as two cops and a cat. I was about to be a swat. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> so I guess today's themes, today's themes is cops. But how's everybody doing today? Chilling. Good. Dry. Good. Dry, I know. Today we're a little dry. We're not drinking today. Sober. Sober. All right, so one of the questions that we're going in, thank, thankful for everybody that tapped into that questionnaire that we did yesterday. Did you see the first one? What was it? The tax? I didn't pay my tax. Yeah, it's almost like I didn't, do, I didn't file taxes last year. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so so a, good, a good question. Just, is success determined by your possessions or by your impact? I'd, I'd say by impact. I feel like I'm not making as much money as my nine to five. I feel like I've impacted a numerous amount of people with like what I give them and knowledge and just training and just talking to them and just being around there more often than what I was doing on my nine to five. Facts. And I feel like I'm successful in that part. You know, I'm not doing too bad, but I'm not doing like how, you know, before. how you guys think, you know, like yeah. before. Pass the mic to deal. I love you. I love you. I love. <laughs> um, well, I agree with homeboy here because um, I mean everything is materialistic at the end of the day, and you know the impact you make on someone lasts more than anything in this fucking world. So, yeah, pretty much. I love that. I love that. I, I love you. I love you. Miss anime over there, Miss Street Fighter. <laughs> I think it depends on the person because everyone's different. So how they measure their success could be different from someone else. Um, for me personally, it's more if the impact, because it's like when I die, what I want to be remembered by, basically. X. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Days Hot Chicken? <laughs> Is it my turn? Uh, um, I think, yeah, also impact, but I can also see why people, um, what was the little one success, right? Could you not take me serious, please? <laughs> 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 I, I can't take you or this serious right now. You look like we're ready to save the world, dog. Uh, <laughs> my head fell off. Oh, there you go. When you're in the third round. <laughs> <laughs> what she tells you, are you ready to go again? We're trying to have a serious conversation right now. Stop it. <laughs> let me, let me, let me go pee real quick. You guys. Okay. I'm sorry, actually. Okay, explain. Go, go. My answer is over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it just depends. Cindy said, "Just depends on the person." Everybody else is, is is more the impact, right? Because we're not here for a long time. So to say, I think the average lifespan here in the U.S. is like less than sixty. <laughs> Fucking McDonald's, bro. We gotta stop eating that, didn't? Not here for a long time. For good. I'm not for here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. So, to the next question, are you guys, do you feel like you're somebody else when nobody else is looking? So you may be an extrovert, but when no one else is looking, you're really, like, self-conscious, introverted. Honestly, I feel like I'm social and antisocial. Like, you have no idea how bad I want to just come in here and be like, yo, let's take a shot right now, but then I got you know, to remember, but... Like, but back then when I go up drive back home or say if we end earlier, I'm going to go back to the gym, headphones on, late at night, no one, no one knows. But, like, that, I love doing that and I love being here as well. So that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe, I, f I feel like I'm a social and antisocial person as at well. At the same time. I would like, just roll with myself. Yeah. I mean, hold on, let me, let me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys seen me. Well, this dude sees me 24-7, and I'm really the way I, I am with everyone. I'm, I'm the same, no matter what. But what you were saying about the social and antisocial thing, I think we're all antisocial and social because we do want to be around people. We do want to be in the crowd. But sometimes we need to take that step back and be like, you know what? I'm trying to chill right now. Yeah. But um, back to your question, I'm really like this 24-7. Like, I don't put a face on or anything. I, I, I don't change. I just act up a little bit more when I'm drunk. <laughs> you know, this is going to make me we all, get, we all get a fucking confidence boost. I'm not going to lie. I get, like, stupid confidence You get one or two boost. shots in and, what's up, bro? Let's, 
Is now with and the a haircut, you don't know how to act. I'm, I'm trying to go to the bar real quick. Just, uh, now I'm playing, but yeah, pretty much. Cindy, where, where are we at with this? I think a little bit of both. Um, I want to say, like, on social media, I'm, like, a whole different person. I'm very, like, vocal about everything. I'm very open. But if you meet me at the gym, I'm, like, focused. I'm just, like... Quiet. Just quiet. Like, let me do my thing. But it just depends, like, the scenario where I am. Yeah. Because at work, I'm a whole different person. So, yeah. Yeah. And I think I'm the opposite. I think I'm, like, a lot more quiet on social media, and I'm so much more, like, loud in real life. I think, but I also, <laughs> like, I am, like, my own person when I'm by myself. Like, I have to, like, literally sit in my silence and just, like... I, I think when, like, when you're around your people and you're comfortable... Yeah. Like, even if you're in a big party or big, a big scenario, <laughs> you're around your people... <laughs> Why are we laughing? I can't <laughs> Oscar saw your third leg or... <laughs> All right, so it gets us to the question that we said yesterday. So just to make this funner, obviously, to take us serious in all these costumes, it ain't really going to happen. So what is one thing you can say in bed that you, that you can say at the dinner table? Wait, one thing what? One thing you can say in bed that you can say at the dinner table. Raw? <laughs> Let's eat. I'm just kidding. Let's eat. No, that's kind of gay. I'm going to sound like my meat raw, but no. It's raw. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, yo. 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 Hey, Hold on. Can we talk about Dal Taco or no? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be eating a Dal Taco. Yeah. <laughs> the, what is it? What was it called? The Walk Walk 300 or what is it? <laughs> is Dude, Dylan got Dal Taco and got the fucking Glock Glock 3000 <laughs> oh, out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever, girl. No, because when we went to the barbershop yesterday with Dylan, first time I took my son to, the, <laughs> to get a haircut. <laughs> so like, daddy what's, what, yeah, daddy and me time. It's like, what's one thing you can say at the barbershop that you can say in bed, too? What did I say? <laughs> oh, I said pull my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up. <laughs> Double was just laughing. <laughs> you look. <laughs> I was like, Picasso, pull my hair, please. And he's like, yo, chill. He's I'll like, stop do, you, right now. He's like do you like do you like it? <laughs> what else did I say? I Damn, said something what? stupid, bro. I'm, I'm stupid as fuck. Um, no. What no. Else did I say? <laughs> nah, no. We all got that one friend that does a lot of stupid shit. You just never want to tell him, hey, my God. You're stupid. <laughs> You're stupid. Don't say that again. All right. Um, did you, have you said that already? No, we need Cindy. We need Cindy. What did I say? Let's eat. Let's eat. Yeah, Becca, well, what's, one, what's one thing we can I say in bed but not? Eating. I, I love eating. I didn't think about it because I was thinking about the ta- Del Taco. Del Taco? The, what did you say? No, the Del Taco. I, I didn't think about it. No. You like, <laughs> no, I'm not. What did you say? Oh, about the Del Taco? Yeah. It's because yesterday, yesterday we went out to, to go eat, and Dylan was like, yeah, when I got picked up by my mom, I was high, and then got taco. I got a burrito. That shit was hot, and then I was... You're like, I said, fuck it. I was high. I didn't care. So I got that shit. <laughs> I got the burrito. I started eating that bitch. And this, but you he already did, like, know his dirty ass mind. <laughs> he, he did the whole motion. He did double, the whole motion. Double now, hand, twist at the same time. The, did the noise. Yeah. Left and right. Yeah. How do you know that? That's the question. Wait, what? Yo, what the fuck? Hey, some of these questions have been wilding out here. I, I'm a visual learner, you know? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Can we take it back to serious? Yeah. <laughs> Even though we have Dave's object. chicken head. <laughs> but I like your little feet right there. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. I'm done. I'm done. As kids, did you guys dress up? No. No. I, this is my first time ever dressing up. <laughs> this is my first time dressing up. <laughs> why, why is it that as kids we don't dress up, but as adults now we're just like, fuck it. It's brujeria. The what? To my mom. Yeah, according, according to our moms, it's brujeria. Yeah, these shorts are brujeria. This shit's about to pop the fuck out, yo. <laughs> yeah, this motherfucker ain't breathing tonight, you know? Nancy <laughs> Clopes is going to come out. Wait, I did dress up when I was younger, like in kindergarten and first grade, and I remember exactly what I was. No I was um, for kindergarten, I was Baby Bop uh, from Barney, mm-hmm. the little green one. And mm-hmm. then for first grade, I was the Red Tully Tubby. <laughs> The red the red tubby. Tubby. That's really Yeah, cool. the, that's the last time I remember dressing up. And if, you, today. if you guys haven't noticed, I'm a Mexican UPS driver. <laughs> 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 Shit. 
shit. Border Patrol? <laughs> Border Patrol. Hey. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey yo. Foul. Shots fired. Shots fired. All right, so life is just, it's, fu- it's fun when you want to make it fun, right? So we out here. <laughs> life is fun when you want to make it fun. So the transitions of, I mean, fuck, we're almost at end of the year now, right? So oh, we're literally in Hall- we're going to get to Halloween when this is out. Then Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Do you feel like you've made the progress that you wanted in 2022 getting into, like, the last two months of the year? Or is it better than you anticipated? To be honest, it, I feel like it's better than I anticipated. Not just my goals that I had, but just I look physically better than I did last year, thanks to this dumbass. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I feel like I have three months left, and I don't want to quit right now. I don't want to, you know, yeah. set the thing down on the table and be like, you know what, I'm done for the next three months. We still got to keep grinding for the next three months. And even though those three months pass, we still got to grind no matter what because I want to be in a better position than I am next year. So, yeah. I love you. <laughs> love you. <laughs> love you, bitch. I love you, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the judgmental in me is like, oh, I could do better. I can, I could keep going, like. But sometimes I'm like, okay, uh, I started my, like, my business, I guess, in February, and I haven't quit or hasn't like, gone bad. So I guess that's something good to be like, proud of. But like, it's always in the back of my head, my mind, I'm like, oh, I could just, I could just keep doing better, you know? Nice. But sometimes you just got to recognize like, what you've gone through and what you're doing right now also, and just, you know, congratulate yourself. Cindy? What the fuck is going on over there? I was watching that. I know. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Hey, that boot a little tight. That boot a little tight. Guys, I can't see nothing. Hey, my guy out there is sweating. My, my guy is sweating right there. You got to work out pulling that boot off the foot. Do you, do you feel like you made the progress you wanted or better anticipated? Um, better. Um, I started off basically kind of unemployed and only working on the business for a long time. For the entire, like, 2021. And... 2022 and then I ended up um, being like offered a job position where that money can be reinvested in my business and now yeah. we opened up in Fresno so we we expanded the business from Central Valley to Bay Area which was already out there and my Can't business partner expanded out to Fresno and we're in the process of expanding to San Diego area um, yeah so we're, we're in the process yeah, of expanding yeah. out fully yeah Hell yeah, Lato. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's been it's been a live and learn, and to have people actually reach out and ask me questions about how to start a business, it has been pretty fulfilling. It's, it's insane, yeah. Hell yeah, it's amazing. Miss Stays Hot Chicken, Miss Becca. There's number two. Um, wait, what was the question again? Do you feel like 2022 was better than anticipated, or is it not? Um, I think for me it was. I honestly came into the year like not expecting pandemic I feel like for a lot of people like their goals that they set for like even those last two years like they went to shit because everything was like closed out so I think I came in with a bad mentality but I'm pretty um proud of myself for like where I am now because yeah. I when I didn't think even socially to have like the people that I have around me or like, the friends that I've made this year um and then like going to school getting a new job working the shit that I worked like I never like imagined I would be where I'm at Right now, so I think even this year I've probably made more progress than I have in the last five years. Love it. it so, so we could get to to the rest of the content. <laughs> Something that you didn't, you wish you knew when you were as a kid, as you know now. I wish I knew more that if you're actually yourself, you'll be happy. Instead of trying to fit in, being yourself is a lot better than trying to figure to be somebody else. I wish I knew that more as a kid, but just the way everything was happening, the, the people I was around, the friends I was around, and then also knowing that those type of, that friends don't always last forever. Especially when you're growing, growing in school, you feel like those, those people are your friends forever. Girlfriends are, your, are forever, but in reality, it was just for the moment and they taught you something. But that's what I learned. What, what do you feel like something when you were younger that you know now? Yes, I could be sentimental as Spider-Man. I could be sentimental as Spider-Man. I don't know. Not something that I've I learned, but maybe like I would tell myself, a younger me, is like, 
your decisions are not going to make everyone happy, but if they're beneficial for you, you should do them. Because there's some decisions that I should have done, or I, it was a better route for me to do, but other people weighed in on it, and like, yeah. it was just not the outcome I wanted. So it's like, I'm trying to play catch up now. Yeah. But I mean, at the end of the day, life happens, and it is what it is, and it happens for a reason. So I have no regrets, but I do wish I told my younger self, whatever decisions you make is not going to make everyone happy. Um, can you repeat the question real quick? I'm sorry. Something you wish you knew when you were younger that you know now. Oh. Um, do what makes you happy and put yourself first. Because. Yeah. Her. Her. Because <laughs> um, you're not. I mean, when I was younger, I used to please the fuck out of everyone. I tried to please everyone. And I'll please you, baby. Don't <laughs> <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Boy, you but, can't be I'll set a man on it. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> cut it. Cut this fool out. Is, is it is it this big too or what's up? <laughs> nah, I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. I'm fucking yeah. around. Let me see the machete, darling. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, I'm fucking around. Alright, go, go, I'm go, go. Around. Imagine now I'm fucking around, I'm fucking around. But um yeah, you know what? Do whatever makes you happy and put yourself first because at the end of the day, you're alone, and you know you gotta you gotta live with yourself. And if you're not happy with yourself, then no one's gonna be happy for you. So, Facts. I love you. Love you, Sandy. Um, that it's okay to fail. Every failure is a redirection to your path. And then also, um, it's okay to ask for help. Like your network is your um, basically your wealth. Like everything you need to have around you. Okay. For me, it's balance because. Um, I feel like they, you don't, nobody teaches you that, right? Like how to balance life, um, social life, work life, um, just everything, like education. That's a whole lifestyle too. So um, I think that's also one thing that I've learned for myself this year is like how to balance my friends, my work, um, my education. Because for like a long time, I was just like work mode, work mode. And I was holding back on like my social and my education. <laughs> So this year I'm definitely like, yeah, I lose sleep sometimes, but I'm like making memories with dope ass people, I'm going to school and I'm making it to work on time every day. So I think balance of time and social life is something that I wish I would have learned a lot sooner. <laughs> this is the wisest chicken we've ever heard. <laughs> the wisest chicken we've ever heard. The realist, the realist. The realist chick. All right, so if you stay tuned, I know it was a little... <laughs> a little different, especially the scenario, the visions. Um, but stay tuned, man. This is, I, I do want, I do want to give it up, bro. We hit fucking twenty two k on IG today, oh, yeah. so I do want to give it up, yes, sir, real quick. <laughs> I can't even clap, bro. But keep tuning in. <laughs> keep tuning in. Keep subscribing. Look at my friends. These are these are the support system, right? Look at this. Buffest Spider-Man you've ever known. Hey, relax. No one got to know it. Don't close in the back. Stay tuned. This is Total Life Podcast. Most authentic, most organic. Let's go. <laughs>